Hello, and welcome to the 50th episode of the Urban Legend series of the Silent God of War 20 story time. We're still on chapter 4 <coughs> Automania. And we are now up to the 13th chapter of that, or the 13th story of that chapter. The Wife Left Behind. In 1996, a family from Oregon travelling in their <clears throat> RV through California stopped at a freeway interchange restaurant. The wife went to the restroom and her husband drove off without her, believing she had gone to the back of their vehicle for a nap. He drove 300 miles before discovering his error. They were reunited with the help of a highway patrol. I know of six cases of this incident from 1986 to 1992, all reported in well-documented news stories. There's no doubt that each incident really happened. The reports mention several different states and a variety of vehicles and stopping places. I also have reliable newspaper articles about a truck driver in 1986 leaving his wife behind in a New York State motel. A Democratic State Senator from Indiana in 1988 leaving his companion, campaign director behind in a Tennessee rest stop and a husband in 1992 leaving his wife behind in another Tennessee rest stop. Adding to the data on riders left behind, I have a first-person account of a California family in 1973, leaving their nine-year-old son behind in a California gas station. I'm sure if I applied myself to further research, I could easily double the number of reports of similar incidents. So is it an urban legend? Calvin Trillin, in, in discussing the 1992 Tennessee occurrence, which he heard of directly from the participants, described it as a palpably authentic example of the sort of experience you hear now and then in the sort of modern folk tales that usually carry the sniff of the apocryphal and the embellished. I couldn't have said it better myself. Surely the wife and others left behind. Incident did happen, and several times at that. But in telling and retelling the story, people tend to focus on the salient details, and the story probably becomes funnier the more pointed with each telling. And more pointed with each telling. At the same time, there's a certain whiff of true, legendary, in the story. When you encounter the undeniably 100% fictional story, The Nude in the RV, another left behind during travel yarn containing further juicy details, which I've grouped with other slapstick humour in Chapter 19. Okay, we hope you enjoyed the 50th episode. That was The Wife Left Behind. And our next story will be The Baby on the Roof. Until then, guys. See ya.